Hey party people, how's it going man? My name is Fossey and this is Vampire. Um, in the last episode, we managed to talk to this, uh, this Sean guy, Sean Hampton. And he now is a Skull and he... He still wants to help him... Help his people, but I don't know man, I don't think so. I don't think so, um... I would probably kill him. So one thing, I think I'm quite under level. So what I'm doing now is do some investigations to get these out of our chest. And then we have to kill some peeps, man. Um, for this, let me just check the shit. So I can't touch... Uh, I can't touch the uh, this district here. I need to hear those guys. Uh, in Whitechapel, because otherwise uh, it's all going to shit. Uh, what about this here? This is serious, this is stable. So, if we have a look at those guys here, mm, with a pillar. So, we definitely want to do some investigation stuff for those guys in order to get everything out of them. Squeeze them dry, we squeeze them dry, and then we suck them dry. Um, so, let me just check this. We have uh, one investigation, the Vampire Hunter Extraordinary. Um... And uh, the posters, right? Alright. Choose what to do about Ichabod's campaign. Burn all the posters. Stick the fur. Ah, we can also burn them. Yes. Yes, I want to burn them. I want to burn them. So, let's see. They're all scattered around here. Okay. Okay. So, I think... Uh the first, okay, 30 meters, let's start with this one here, Ichabod, look at the, dude, he never killed anyone. <laughs> I can't protect the whole city, it's hard enough to cover the docks by myself. Eh? Can I just burn them? Burn all the posters? Okay. Uh, report, uh, sorry, but I, I uh, somehow lost your posters, good sir. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assist- Uh, your posters were destroyed. I'm afraid your posters were destroyed. It cost me good money to print those posters. Such a pity people don't take the vampire menace seriously. Did you really think the posters would be useful? See the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? I consider myself the discreet protector of these men and women. Aha. You are now got a uh, hint. Do we have every hint available? Oh, two more. Right. Tell me, Ichabod. Why do you consider yourself the protector of Sean Hampton's shelter? He is a truly inspiring example. Dedicated, pious. His shelter is open to all, whoever they are. Most admirable. Okay, um... Goodbye. Let's see, we got uh, another one. Um, another investigation thingy here. Um, and it was... Was it this here? Yes. So... Bring back the gin bottles or lie to Tom and keep the gin bottles. Um, so this is an evil playthrough. Go there. All right. What is this here? Ah, the sewer entrance. I mean, yeah, this is an uh, this is an evil playthrough, so I probably should lie. But I kind of kind of like him. Be fighting each other. They've got bigger problems elsewhere. Uh, fuck it. Um, can I somehow cross this uh this thingy here? No, it's locked, but I can go here, right? Ah, level 22, dude. So underleveled. Uh, why is this fucking locked? It's locked, alright. I have to go from this side again. No, it's also locked, or what? Ah. Can I, can I go outside, maybe? Uh, of course not. I hate this shit, dude. I really hate this shit. Uh, what about this here? This entrance? Yeah. 
look at those guys, man. Dude, they're dealing quite quite the damage here. Don't want to engage right now. Because they are very high level. So let's don't. Can I? Okay. I think I can go over here, right? And now here. Limehouse dog. Uh, fuck where? Okay. Who's this guy? Ah, this dick B. Who's dick B? Edwina Cox. We didn't talk to her, right? Good evening, Miss. I am Doctor Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor from the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Ah, so I can trade with her. She's very healthy. Uh, level 5, yikes. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things. And I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I'm interested. I am not at all. You're quite a blunt woman. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I am not at all. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt, or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Oh, dude. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. Do I kill her or not? Hmm. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards. All of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the gravediggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... that is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. <laughs> Dude. This is so ridiculous. You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. Are you aware of what happened to him? Yes. I'm sure he fought till the end and looked deaf in the eyes. Uh, not the quite. Boys will mourn him. Except one of them, maybe. Not quite, my dear. Not quite. Okay. Booth Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. I'm uh, not that easily shocked. I'm not that easily shocked, Miss Cox. You can speak freely about your lover, if you so wish. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good. And that's a first. So you're just like any other couple, after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. <laughs> nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely lady. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. 
Dude, I cannot accept that. I am the one who decides who lives and who dies, so... There cannot be both. There, ca there can't be both uh, who are deciding the fates. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard, but he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory and this is our law. <sighs> Boy, what can I buy from her? Can I see what? As long as you have. Uh, some bullets, common handle parts. Dude, these are neat. I need these handle parts. Um, trigger part as well, and the good ones, of course. They are quite rare, so I think I will buy them. Buy multiple. Okay. One of those, one of those, maybe one of those. Yes, I think I will buy them all. Okay. Right. Um, yes, we wanted to talk to Tom. Welcome back, Doc. Good thing you Let me just check if there's anything new. Oh, yeah. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I have nothing to hide. So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah, <laughs> why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide and I don't judge. That's a relief for many round here. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars, <laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. But do you feel cleansed of your sins? All I know is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. Okay. Why not leave town and start a new life after you got out of jail? I grew up in the East End. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. Misery loves company, as they say. Don't you feel threatened, staying in such a violent and criminal neighborhood? I've made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. Ah, I think we have all. No, we didn't. Dude, five? Shit. Social circle. Ah, I need to talk to her as well. Um... You attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. I was an obedient gang member at the time. A proud, wet boot boy. Oh, okay. Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. I just stood there pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. Damn it. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his bottomless appetite, an easy life of easy pickings. And then something happened. You empathize with him? You were scared to kill. Did you realize how sad you were? Maybe scared to kill? You realized what it means to take a life. You feared what it would be like to carry that guilt with you. Believe me, Doctor, I wasn't scared. I wasn't even afraid to face the wet boot boys after I'd failed. Okay. Um... So... What about warehouse? Wasn't empty. You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those Prewin guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor, but it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. Uh, this is a fucking asshole, so he lied to me, and... You know what? The warehouse had been looted. 
There was nothing left in the warehouse. The new owners must have helped themselves to the supply. Fair enough. I guess it was a long shot. I just hope those drunk bastards didn't give you a hard time. <laughs> They're dead now. Ball of alcohol six. Cool. Um. So we need more hints here. We have four. Ah, dude. Goodbye, man. Okay, you know what? Let's talk to. Investigation succeeded. Let's talk to her again. Evening, miss. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? All right, let's talk her. Mm. Were you aware of Tom's past incarceration? That's the first thing he told me when he offered me the job. He didn't want me hearing about his past from anyone else. Did it surprise you to find out about it? <laughs> Not really. I was already aware of his reputation before I met him. That's why I came to the Turtle in the first place. Most people would have run away because of that. Not me. I thought a man like him could give me stability, you know? At least to some degree. And I wasn't mistaken. What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. Yeah, I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. One hint for so far. If you're uncertain about your safety here, the docks might not be the right place for you. I've got responsibilities. And it's not like I've got the money to move anywhere else anyway. Okay. About this pub. This place seems... How shall I put it? Very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Yeah, dude, there are two people that, that are keeping peace around here, so either I kill Tom or uh, Hampton. There cannot be too, too many people who, um, who wants to keep the peace, man. I need to decide. Which is balanced and which not, and uh, dude, one of them has to go. Uh, personal questions, where are you from? Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Uh, Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course, Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Knows he. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. All right. Tell me, Sabrina. Do you really believe Tom has renounced his life of crime? He proves it to me every day he tells the truth. Tom Watts is a good man. One of the best. And you don't think he might fall back into his sordid ways? We can all do terrible things, Dr. Reed. And we never know what we're really capable of until it's too late. Um, okay. Goodbye, Miss Cat. I think I'm done here. I think I am actually done here. Um, let's see. What else is there? Let me just check this real quick. So we have uh, investigation stuff. Unknown. Enid Gillingham? Who was this guy? Another body murder. Choose what to do with Jack Gilling. Uh, bring it back to relative. Sell it to someone else. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ghoul diggers come up with the grave diggers. Let me just check this one thing here. I think drink no longer stirs me. Another body murdered. Bring it back to relative. Where is the relative? Uh, it's here. Or sell it to someone else. So let's go there. Are 
Let's just go there. Wars never really end. Archer would beat. Yeah, I don't know what don't talk to her, to him. Talk to so many guys right now. I just want to do some other stuff right now. Don't overdo it here. Uh, Priven Gunner, yeah. Ah. What a shelves! There's one of them. Shit! <gasps> oh my god! Okay, let's. <laughs> Twenty-two. Ah, uh, this one again. All right. Okay. Okay. What? What? Come on then, bite him. Okay. He's doing quite the amount of damage, man. Uh, so what I want to do is... Uh, need to go here. Blinker Skull, yeah, let's uh, kill him, I guess. Okay. So I think I want to, uh, I want to uh, sell the watch. So I go in here, huh? Yeah? But this guy is is here. Where? Turn around, sir. Steady. <laughs> Fuck it. Burn it, boys. Time for this. Come on, then. <laughs> Ah. Okay. The gun is, uh, is really cool here. So, how do I get uh, to those guys? Uh, I wonder, I wonder. Ah, they're at the night shelter. A vampire kills in utter sight. Wait a minute, where can I go up? Where can I go up here? To check this man. Because it's, I, can't, I can't go in here. So do I have to find a way up there? Maybe here? And... but there is nothing. There is nothing here. This is kind of shitty. But I can loot some stuff. At least. Anything else? Uh, okay. The door has been unlocked. Yeah, but what? Yeah, I mean, okay. There's somewhere in this uh, in this building here. Um, I mean, I can see him. There, there he is. But where do I access this? Look, there's no indicate. Ah, okay. Unknown. Maybe I should talk to him. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you need any help? Rest assured, I will help you, sir. Martin Nightingale, at your service. Please, take a look at my wares. Ah, <laughs> I can sell him. Your merchandise. I don't really see anything worth having. No offense. None taken, sir. But please, I need to eat. Perhaps if you keep looking, you'd see something that takes your fancy. Maybe. Let me be frank. You're as much of a businessman as I am a werewolf, right? Who the hell are you to question me? It's hard enough to stay clean when you don't have a place to sleep. I'm doing my best here. I meant no offense, Mr. Nightingale. I was merely pointing out the fact that you're unlikely to survive long if you continue wandering this path. 
And what should I do then, sir? Should I join the wet boot boys like so many others? No thanks. I'd rather be a bad seller than a dead gang member. Yeah, that's uh... That's good, I guess. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Have you got any friends around these parts? Not really. Miss Gillingham smiles and says kind words, but I know she's lost her marbles, especially since her son died. Tell me about this crazy woman. Madness is often mistaken for other conditions. <laughs> the poor woman's mad, all right. Kind and all, but she has so much trouble remembering things. She's taken me for a son more than once. How interesting. I don't suppose you know what happened to her son. Jack! Rumor has it he tried to tackle some gang lads. I didn't know him well, but I heard he was a nice enough chap. His old ma still thinks he's around. Maybe this was the guy the um, the Edwina Cox uh, and uh, the, the Boo Dickby killed. Maybe. Why not try seeking help instead of peddling your wares? I'm sure there are people around here that would gladly help. There's always the night asylum. I heard it's run by a very nice man, but I'm no beggar. Not yet, at least. There is no shame in asking for help, my boy. Sometimes it can even be the best course of action. I don't feel okay with that. I'm gonna make a name for myself, and I'll do it by myself. Okay, I can uh, I can relate to that. What about this guy? Three, okay, I found this watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I found this watch. It belonged to Miss Gillingham, but I thought you might find it useful. That makes sense. She would have forgotten about the watch by the next day. If you say so. Take this for your trouble, Dr. Reed. I will not forget your gesture, I swear. Cool, shedding silver mirror. Show me what... Let me see, what does he offer? Vampire faction and scales. A page is probably stolen from someone. Okay, yes, I'll buy this. Music box, a small wooden for... Containing a folded letter. Oh, cool. Common handle part. What about selling stuff? Can I sell maybe some... Of these things here, Clay's hatchet. You know what I like? I like um, that all these these um, these uh, things here. Uh, they they are kind of unique. So we have Clay's hatchet here, and also this one I only found once. So they are kind of unique. The weapons, I like that. We are not bombarded with shit. Small bottle, nah, nah. I think I will I will sell nothing here. Clay's hatchet, however, mm, you know what? Nah. Uh, but let's. What is this here? Risk blood sample. Oh, I can research that, right? Let me buy this. And I think I will buy la, 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 these uh, handle parts here. Okay. So, investigation complete, succeeded, nice, nice. And I think I will end the session right here, guys. So, um, we, need to, we need to definitely upgrade uh, some stuff here because we have uh, found lots of, lots of shit here. And in the next episode, I think we will, maybe we'll tackle some more investigations and uh, do the main mission again. Because then I will get mesmerized level 3. And then it's easier to kill some more peeps and get even stronger. I know I've got something that'll strike your fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope I'll you have a great day something. and take care.